Welcome back. We are rounding to the nearest thousand and I'm going to rush a little bit because we've been rounding to the nearest tens, we've been rounding to the nearest hundreds and now to the nearest thousand and um, it's all been explained so let's do it a little bit quickly. Um, to the nearest thousand I have to find where is my thousand, what's the place value of the thousand that is over there, it's the eight, yeah? 68,783 the eight, those are my thousands it either stays an eight or it goes up to a nine that depends on the next number it's a five or higher it's going to be a nine so 69,000 to the nearest thousand 102,489 yeah, that's a comma, that's not a decimal point. 102,489. Where are my thousands? Yeah, place value. It's over there. Yeah, units, tens, hundreds, thousands. It stays a two or it goes up to a three. And it stays a two indeed. So the answer to the nearest thousand is 102,000. Now, 300, a little bit of a special case here. Units, tens, hundreds. So my thousands. I don't have any thousands, yeah? I have zero thousands. So the zero stays a zero or it goes up to one. That depends on the next one. It's lower than a five, so to the nearest thousand, the answer is gonna be zero. Perhaps you want to draw that on a number line to have a look, or you look at one of my previous videos where I explain this as well. The last one, 1,299, where are my thousands? Over here. Sorry, it's the 1,000. Stays a 1, goes up to a 2, depends on the next number. It's lower than a 5, so it's going to stay a 1. So the answer is a 1,000. Do not get confused because of all of those big 9s over there. Yeah, it only depends on the next number, which is a 2 in this case. Because 1,299 on a number line is just nearer to 1,000 than it is to 2,000. Okay, I hope this was useful and I'll see you soon in one of my other videos.